Broadcasting from Seattle, Washington, where the roof has been shut atop Safeco Field. Today, it's game two of a three-game weekend set between the Cleveland Indians and the Seattle Mariners. These two should be exciting to watch go at each other, and it's all coming up next. Felix Hernandez is on the mound for game two. What do you have for us on MH? Matt last year is one of the better pitchers in all of baseball ERA under three and as a starting pitcher to have an ERA under three that tells you a lot about how good and durable he is so I'm looking for him to have another big season and maybe that starts with this game right here a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap but that'll hit off the wall in left center and now he'll get into scoring position with two away. It's always nice to get something cooking in the first inning, even with two outs. Now your cleanup man steps to the plate and has a chance to drive in the first run of the game. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. He went deep in the contest Jason. last night. Jason Runner in scoring Kipnis. position at second with two down. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Tyler has it in his tracks, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So two on with two away. And standing in is the center fielder, Gregor Blanco. Gregor Blanco. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Suzuki is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So three ready for another chance. Allen Hager designated hitter. Allen 0 oh, and 1 Hager. count and the pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Suzuki ranging back at the track. He makes the play. A great catch on the. Welcome back to Major League Baseball on the show from Seattle. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Hiroki Suzuki. Hiroki Suzuki. Checked by Hernandez. The pitch. I had him lunging there as he's just able to tap it foul at home. Comes set and the 0 1. And a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. Hernandez readies the 1-1. One, one. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to 2-1. and one. Now a move over to first. A dive, but he's back. <laughs> Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. There's a drive out toward the gap in left center. Semyon rounds the corner and is headed home. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. That is what every manager is looking for out of the middle of his lineup. When you get your three, four, and five hitters producing this early in the season, it can be contagious, and everyone in the lineup starts to contribute. Second base for number 22, Jason Kipnis. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw gets him two down. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. The catcher, 0 for 1 here nine. in the early going. Yasmani Men on Grandal. third with two down. Very weakly on the ground. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. 
Lions forced to settle for one. Striding in once again, Kyle Seeger looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Fly ball out toward right field. Suzuki has a read on it, one away. Still early in the season, of course, but. Digging in to try it again, baseman, Chris Johnson, 21. one for one after Chris a single this first time Johnson. up. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Suzuki moving to his left, two gone. And no tag at second, he'll head back there with two away now. Ready for another shot now. Hiroki Suzuki, right he's got a couple Hiroki of doubles thus far, so Suzuki. we'll see if he can keep it up. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, what a pitch to start the at bat there. It's nothing and one. For the most part, he's looked really locked in at the plate in this game. Not so much on that swing, though. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. A little bouncer. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. Hits are even right now at five aside. And another foul ball. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. That's a nice pitch right there. He threw him a breaking ball. Comes back with the fastball. And now he's late. Now he doesn't know how to adjust. He's kind of caught in between. You got him set up perfectly. To two balls and two strikes now. Seems like he's thrown everything at him. The kitchen sink. And he just fouled him off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase. And he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. Ground ball right side. Throw in time and the side is retired. Ready once again. Alan Tyler. He'll get his side started in the inning. And Dan, so far they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away. But whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle third Seager. Baseman, He's one 15. for two in the ball game. Kyle Seager. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Suzuki has a play, and the inning is over. Here's Chris Johnson now. A hit in first two baseman, tries so far. 21. Chris Johnson. 0-2, oh here it is. In the air now, out to right field. Suzuki moving to his left. He makes the play. Runner tags and heads for third. And the throw from right will not be in time. Digging in once again, Hiroki Suzuki. And this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. The bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good 7th, 8th, and 9th inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. Ready with the 1-0. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2-0. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately. And based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself in counts where he's likely to be successful. On to first, and that's an important first out to start the eighth here. Hey, we were really treated to a good one today. Bottom of the eighth proved to be the difference, though, and a good job here in the ninth to close the book on this one. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. Charlie Furbush claims the win out of the pen, Our his first. Kenley Jan Another wet day in the Emerald City, but the roof has been shut for baseball here at Taiwan Walker. Gets the ball for Seattle in this one. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, this guy's not going to blow you away. He's a consistent major league pitcher. Look, his ERA last year a little bit over four, but he takes the baseball. And he's a guy that's going to take his lump, but he's going to keep coming back at you. And I think we'll probably see that kind of performance today. HR, your former employer, the Mariners, entering play here this afternoon. They haven't quite been able to get on track yet. They come in two and four over their first six games.
I like how they played their game yesterday. They won yesterday's game. If they're able to play like that today, they'll win another one. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Yeah, Matt. Bullard's got a pretty fair strike zone all around. He'll miss a call here and there on the black. But what umpire doesn't? And that's taken for a cold strike, too. That's a high strike on a curveball right there. If he continues to throw that pitch, we won't be mentioning his name very much longer in this game. He's going to have to get that ball down to be effective. In the dirt. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Drilled to first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now a moment here for the Indians' starting line. Here comes the second baseman, Leading Robinson up, Cano. Mariner. The average in the second early season, baseline. not pretty for him, hovering Robinson. in the 220s. Skied into straightaway right. Suzuki is there to put it away for route number one. Time for a look at the majestic defense. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Hiroki Suzuki. 0 for 1 Suzuki. for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Marquez racing back. Still going back. Gone! So a solo shot here to left center field. Second home run early in the year. And with it, the Indians have taken a two to nothing lead. Well, he was on cruise control, just needing one more out to get out of the inning. But he came up with a plan. Base is empty. He didn't have to think about shooting one to the opposite field or shortening the swing to move the runners. He just wound up and let her rip. A solo shot as the result. Hiroki Suzuki will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third Hiroki inning. This was just Suzuki. a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball's off the plate away. It's ball one. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Here's Robbie Cano now. The one batter, for two on his line so play. far in the game. Robinson, the wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Suzuki has it in his tracks. No trouble with this one, and... Digging in the switch hitter, Hiroki Suzuki. He'll have the first crack Hiroki. at it here as we start Suzuki. inning number eight. In there, no balls and a strike. That's a big pitch right there. Now he's got him 0-1. And he still may not be comfortable. Even 0-1, he's still a pretty good hitter when he's down the count. This is a big pitch right here. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Ready with another 0-2. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. Hey, that's a good pitch right there. But, you know, as a base stealer, when you're in the box like that, you want to protect your money makers, right? You don't want anything around your knees or your feet, so he was fortunate to get out of the way of that one. Here's another one, too. Little chopper back to the mound. On to first, and that's an important first out to start the eighth here. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Suzuki going back, and that ball is. Game over. 
A two-run blast to straightaway right field. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Wow, everybody wants to be a hero and hit one of those walk-off game-winning home runs. So you know right now when he's getting mobbed by his teammates, he has to feel awfully good. Our final line scrub this afternoon. First for the